I will meditate in thy precepts. July 19. I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statutes. I will not forget thy word. Psalm chapter 119 verses 15, 16. Thoughts and meditations upon the goodness of God to us would close the avenues of the soul to Satan's suggestions. God's love for us is proved daily, yet we are thoughtless of his favors and indifferent to his entreaties. He seeks to impress us with his spirit of tenderness, his love and forbearance, but we scarcely recognize the marks of his kindness and have little sense of the lesson of love he desires us to learn. Some, like Haman, forget all God's favors, because Mordecai is before them and is not disgraced, because their hearts are filled with enmity and hatred, rather than love, the spirit of our dear Redeemer, who gave his precious life for his enemies. We profess to have the same Father, to be bound for the same immortal home, to enjoy the same solemn faith, and to believe the same testing message, and yet many are at strife with one another like quarrelsome children. Some who are engaged in the same branch of the work are at variance with one another and therefore at variance with the Spirit of Christ. Let the student take the Bible as his guide, and stand like a rock for principle, and he may aspire to any height of attainment. All the philosophies of human nature have led to confusion and shame when God has not been recognized as all in all. But the precious faith inspired of God imparts strength and nobility of character. As his goodness, his mercy, and his love are dwelt upon, clearer and still clearer will be the perception of truth. Higher, holier, the desire for purity of heart and clearness of thought.